Hi everyone, it's Emmy. Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make these beautiful candy roses out of Jolly Ranchers. So this tutorial was inspired by a video that I saw here on YouTube made by Scar in which he shows you how to make these candies using Jolly Ranchers. So I'll put that link down below to the original video. If you like these kinds of making videos, make sure to subscribe for more of them. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Into a heat proof dish, pour your boiling water. You want a couple inches. Next, add your Jolly Ranchers and allow them to sit until they soften. This takes a few minutes. So when you can easily poke the Jolly Rancher and it feels soft, then you know the candies are ready. So using a slotted spoon, remove your candy from the hot water and then unpeel it. Then working quickly, work the candy into a petal shape. You want it kind of thin and then you just wrap it around your lollipop stick or chopstick. And while you're working, you can place the stem of the rose into a glass and that way it'll keep your rose from getting damaged. I would recommend wearing some latex gloves to both protect your fingers from the heat and also the dye. I didn't have any, so you can definitely skip it, but yeah, I suggest it. And then you continue with more candies and making more petals, making sure to overlap them and wrap them around until you form a rose that you like. To make the flowers look more realistic, I suggest folding the petals out a little bit and flaring them out and they'll look a little bit more like a rose. After you finish making a rose, let it dry overnight and then you're left with these beautiful lollipops. You can wrap them in cellophane and then give them as gifts. Alright, so that's how you make these candy roses. They're completely edible and they're beautiful. I think it would make a fun gift and a really fun project for kids. I would definitely recommend wearing gloves. I didn't have any latex gloves on hand because the candy does really stain your hands. But here's a helpful tip. I found that toothpaste really was really great at getting the food coloring off my fingers, especially from underneath my nails. And if you're making these with kids, I recommend there be some supervision because there is a lot of hot water involved. All right, let's give them a taste. Hmm. And not surprisingly, it tastes like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. <laughs> if you end up making these, be sure to share your lovely creations with me on my social media so I can see them and share them. All right, I'll see you in my next video. Now go make something. Bye.